Hi, welcome back world citizens. Indonesia, traditional houses are very diverse considering that Indonesia is a country which is rich in ethnicity and culture. No wonder it turns out that Indonesia also has many types of traditional houses according to region. Based on the number of provinces, there are at least 34 types of traditional houses. However, each province even has more than one traditional house. No ID will introduce you to six of the most popular traditional houses in Indonesia. Number one, Rumah Gadang from West Sumatra traditional house. Rumah Gadang or Rumah Godang is a Minangkabau traditional house. This house ornament is also widely found throughout Indonesia, especially in Padang restaurants. This traditional house has a pointed rooftop shape resembling of a buffalo horn. Previously, this roof was made of palm fiber and could last for decades, but lately the roof of the house has been replaced with aluminum or thin metal. The house is built in a rectangular shape divided into two parts, the front and the back. The front is usually full of carved ornaments with motifs of fruits, flowers, and leaves, while the outer part of the back is covered with bamboo split. Next is Rumah Honai, West Papua. Honai is a West Papuan traditional house with a minimum ventilation and lightning or no windows. The purpose of making this tight house is to protect from the cold because many Papuan people live in the mountainous areas. The building materials of this house generally consist of wood and weeds. This house can still be adopted from modern buildings through several modifications such as replacing wood with walls and being more open and it depends on the area. Last move on the house number 3, Rumah Panjang, West Kalimantan. The traditional house of West Kalimantan is called Rumah Rada. Usually, we call it a long house because it has a house length up to 180 meters 30 widded meters and a height of 5 to 8 meters above ground level. The pillars that support the house are very high and the stairs are wide which must be an odd number. The philosophy of this house symbolizes togetherness and tolerance of each family member. Rumah Rada can accommodate 10 families and hundreds of people and it has a form of togetherness. Then we have Rumah Joglo, Central Java. Joglo is a traditional house from central Java with a pyramid-shaped roof that refers to shape of a mountain. In general, there are four parts of Joglo house. They are pendopo or living room, peringgitan or side room, dalam room or main room, and sentong as a storage room. Joglo can be your inspiration when you want to build a house because it has a unique and beautiful roof shape. For example, it's the papillon which you can adopt for the terrace with size adjustment because the original pavilion was white. However, if you want to find a house in Central Java, this can certainly be the best option. Now we will travel to Bangka Belito. They have Rumah Rakib or Ref House. The naming of Rumah Rakib or Ref House also comes from the very unique shape of the building. In order for the house to be safe and float on the surface of the water, the house must be made to resemble a complete raft. Many people prefer to build and live in a raft houses because they believe that water is a very good source of life for a livelihood. Last traditional house in Indonesia is Musalaki from East Nusa Tenggara. The traditional house of Musalaki was originally used as a residence for tribal chiefs from several tribes in East Nusa Tenggara. Until now, the design of Musalaki traditional house continues to be used as one of the main design references for government buildings such as Kelurahan, Subdistrict, and Regency offices in the province of East Nusa Tenggara. This article is quoted from rumah.com. Those are six of 
the most popular traditional houses in Indonesia. See you for the next good news from Indonesia only at No ID. Be safe and keep healthy. Sampai jumpa!